All right, we are seconds away from January 25th, and that was a memorable day in Eagles history because on this very day, well, in 30 seconds, 40 years ago, the Birds played in their very first Super Bowl. This is a one-of-a-kind look back. This is a throwback. Here's Tim Furlong. So you know when you live somewhere for like a really long time and then you move and you find stuff you haven't seen in decades? Well, that's kind of what happened to us when we moved from our NBC10 Telemundo studios here in Bala Kinwood. Well, our ace media manager, this guy Steve McCauley, who's also a huge sports nut, he came back to Bala Kinwood. He found all these old dusty tapes, and they are awesome. It's video of our coverage of the Super Bowl for the Eagles 40 years ago. Steve digitized everything. He did all the work for you. Trust me, you're going to want to see this. Our NBC10 coverage of Super Bowl 15. Birds fans rocking the Polish flag honoring quarterback Ron Jaworski as they boarded buses bound for the Super Bowl. They cruised past a few sweet Chevy Vegas on the way down 95, rolling in luxury to the Philly airport. Eagles fans who didn't make the trip with an airport send-off. Hey, is, is that baby John Clark in there? Yeah, probably since it's the airport sending the Eagles off to New Orleans. And so the Eagles have landed in their New Orleans nest. That's the voice of Jim Sports Kelly, one of our NBC10 anchors in New Orleans. He points out the uh, tight security, but apparently security wasn't tight enough to keep Jim and the rest of the media from getting the scoop right there on the tarmac. How you doing? Doing fine. Feel pretty good to be here now? Yeah, I'll feel better if we can win. And guarded extremely have by security guards, quarterback Ron Jaworski. Yo, Jaws, love that jacket and the glasses. From there, a bus ride to their new home. And this then, the Eagle's Nest, known out in the tree at the Hilton across the road from the airport here in New Orleans. After being bussed from the airport, they picked up their luggage, went right to their rooms, dropped their luggage there, and then it was trekking off to the first of many team meetings that they'll have as they get ready for the Raiders and Super Bowl 15. If we can play uh, like we're capable of playing Sunday, uh, we're going to win the game. The only time the Eagles actually actually did hold the Lombardi Trophy was during the media session, but during the week, plenty of parties. Invitation only. 28 NFL team owners, Eagle owner Leonard Toes, to name one. That's the legendary Sheila Allen at a party. Fans having fun outside. Inside, she caught up with the guy who played Tarzan, Ron Ely. He was pulling for the Eagles. I'm kind of a fan of her meals because I, uh, I followed him out of UCLA. I, I enjoyed him there. Media day back then involved a whopping 100 total media members. I think NBC sends that many by themselves these days. And shout out to Jim Sports Kelly for this awesome stand-up. No, this is not a UFO hovering over New Orleans, Louisiana. That's the Superdome, home of Super Bowl 15, where the Eagles and the Oakland Raiders do at it on Sunday afternoon. With the Eagles in New Orleans at the Super Bowl, I'm Jim Kelly, Channel 10 Sports. Now we all know the game didn't go the Eagles' way, but their first trip to the big game was memorable. And the scenes 40 years later, absolutely priceless. I'm Tim Furlong, NBC10 News. Wow, I mean, it seemed like there was a lot of quarantine haircuts there flowing. Uh, Dick Vermeil hasn't aged, by the way. And where did they stay? What kind of hotel is that? Didn't put them up in a nice place for uh, the Super Bowl trip. But how cool is that? 40 years ago, thanks to Tim Furlong and Rob Kessner for putting that together. That was way before Twitter, kids.